Okay, so y'all been asking about Beyonce for a second now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do her. Well, let me cleanse first. Now, let's all remember, y'all Y'all know my spiel. Beyonce is the second greatest entertainer behind who? Janet Jackson. Until God forbid Janet Jackson exit the, exits this realm, Beyonce is number the number two, okay? When Janet Jackson transitions, God forbid, Beyonce is the number one. And then you know what I always say, who is gonna have to fight it out? No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say they're gonna have to fight it out. I have said in the past that Normani and um, Chloe are gonna have to um, duke it out for the next position. But let's be let's be more positive because that kind of talk is what kind of got us in the situation with Nikki, Cardi, and other female rappers. The um, assumption that there can only be one. There can be more than one. Okay. So yeah, well we can, we can do that then. Let's let's start with Beyonce. Beyonce and Janet Jackson are the greatest um, living entertainers of this time, and two black women can um, can work and um, win at the same time, and no one is like better than the other. So good, good. I like that. That's a positive vibe. Another thing, Chloe and Romani that I'm ex extremely excited about is that Chloe, please, please, please don't ever get rid of your dreads, okay? Normani, your skin tone is everything. I'm very excited to see black women um, with deep skin tones and dreadlocks dominate. Everything don't have to be a sew-in. So um, it's a good feeling to me, a very good feeling to me to see that diversity. However, we have a long ways to go. Amaretta, Flo Millie, female rappers have deep skin tones. And they. And I know this is a Beyonce reading, but I'm a rant. Amaretta... And Flo Millie, and even Young Baby Tate have um, deeper skin tones. Des does as well. Des Dior does as well. And they they don't get the recognition that I feel like that they should. And I do believe that part of the reasoning is because of their skin tone. And it's frustrating, but that's for another video. And I might have to like put together something to talk about that because it bothers me. It bothers me a lot bothers me a lot a lot okay so what is the energy around um beyonce knows carter spirit Let's see she's a winner six of one all right we got the two of cups at the bottom and we got three of cups um she's celebrating something celebrating something um, something she just did something significant or maybe someone's birthday is coming up okay. she may be celebrating reconciliation with another party who is this person she reconciled with who is this person she reconciled with? So. Yeah, I got the Five of Swords. I got the Queen of Pentacles inverted in the world. Some this situation um, occurred, and she didn't have any closure. This is, okay, so this kind of is giving the energy that, like I said, I feel like she reconciled with someone, but it's different. It's more so um, she's understanding that there she may not ever receive closure from this person, so she closed the case herself. So basically, she's come to, she's come to peace with um, whatever has happened. She doesn't need any um, affirmation from the other party that they're fine. She's closing the case herself without getting the closure she needs and which is something that we all from um something we all have come across in our lifetime some of us but more than likely you have Let's see. Oh, I have a lot to, I have a lot going through Let me see. Ooh, we got the eight of wands. Um, some type of creative project she's working on now 
um, this is going to be even more, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Controversial than lemonade. This is going to be the one that's really going to piss these they asses off. Because you remember when she performed at the Super Bowl, um, they were like boycott Beyonce. And she even, y'all, I went to her concert that year, the tour she did. She even sold shirts that said boycott Beyonce. I was cracking up. So she made light of the situation. But I'm really getting this energy of, oh, y'all was mad. Then you really finna be mad now. Give me more. And honestly, there's, um, okay, let me, give me a second. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I know that one, the Empress inverted. Yep. Yes, it is. Give me more spirit. I got the... Got this one. Okay. Nine of wands. Give me a second. Okay, I think Jay wants more children, but um, I do think that there are... Um, It's a lot to think about. She may want more children as well. Okay, let me see. Now, I don't really feel comfortable talking about people's medical situations, but Beyonce has been very open about um, having a miscarriage. I think anytime they discuss starting to expand their family even more, those feelings of um, disappointment from the miscarriage she has comes back. But like her personality is, Beyonce to me is one of those people that in spite of things happening in the past, will go back and um, try again. So that's why we have the nine of wands. Um, so they may be having discussions surrounding possibly expanding their family. Um, Knowles, Carter, Click, I want you guys to kind of um, take into consideration that it's okay if you want to, to use a surrogate. Um, Kim did, you know, but... Beyonce really is like one of those people that likes to do it herself. Um, I don't think she um, would prefer, would like a surrogate. But it, if y'all really want to expand your family, I think that's definitely um, something you should take into consideration. And there's something else that I, once Beyonce tells everybody what's going on, I'll tell everybody too. But it's really something like, um, to me, it's just, I'll let her say it because i don't a tarot reader doesn't need to say it but it was crazy because my best friend confirmed it a while back a, a feeling i had about something that was um going on not necessarily with her but it does involve her and it is and it can be stressful it can be stressful but beyonce whenever you're ready to talk about it the world is ready to listen i really wish that you know i know you like i know she likes privacy um but there is this energy of the universe being very appreciative if you come out and speak on um, the situation that you are, you and your family are um, dealing with within the family unit. Now, it has nothing to do with them not getting along or anything. There are just some things that um, we aren't aware of about someone that, like I said, it's only Beyonce and Jay-Z's place to address it and i think in the future they will i do i do but i'm not gonna say it you know sometimes I, I just can't go too far let me see um anything else on beyonce spirit anything else let's go let's go thank oh This is, okay, so the page of swords has kind of been hanging around here the whole reading. Give me more about this page. Like, inverted the page of swords. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you, spirit. It's interesting. I read the definition of the page of swords inverted. Um, early, way earlier when I was going through, I was going through looking, I randomly like open up the book and see what what it comes to and it came to that and I read the whole um the definition something about something about it told me just to read the inverted version so this is really helpful thank you spirit
Ten of Swords. I really don't like to, oh wow, damn. Magician inverted, Ace of Swords inverted the tower. Five of Wands, the devil behind that, y'all. Look, this is awful. The Let me say it again. The Magician inverted, the manipulative asshole, Ace of Swords inverted, liar, tower, tower moment, Five of Wands, a conflict, the devil, damn. Okay. So, how do, how do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? First, um, I really don't need clarifiers, but honestly, I think I need them at the same time. Give me, give me, ooh, let me see. Give me more spirit. Give me more. Whew. Wow, ten of ten of swords again. Look at that. Who is a Gemini? I know she's a Virgo. Oh no, Angelique, you're supposed to keep that down. My bad. Well, y'all saw it. The Ten of Swords came out twice. And then right here, y'all, Five of Wands. Okay. The Lovers, again, the Lovers is tw down twice now. And y'all ain't going to even believe this. The Seven of Cups is. Hold on, look at this. Seven of Cups inverted. Seven of Cups inverted. These are different decks. The Lovers upright. The Lovers upright. So let's do that. Let's. Pull the three that came out twice. The lovers, the seven of cups, and then remember we have the ten of swords come down, but I accidentally put it back. Um, and I'm keep these down. Give me a second. If I can find it quickly, Spirit, I will, but if I can't, I'm, I'm not going to stress myself out to get it. Let me see. Okay, I didn't see it. I'm going to keep talking. Uh, page of swords inverted. Y'all, at the bottom. And this is the page of swords inverted. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Some of those feelings from Lemonade still linger. That's what I can say. There is still some resentment within the relationship um, regarding the the Lemonade album, which discussed Jay-Z's infidelity. Uh, I, oddly enough, she's kind of still healing from what happened a little bit or something. I don't know. I don't think anything happened recently. But yeah, once you just, once something, like, once a betrayal like that occurs, women just, um, y'all, it's hard for us to get over it, even if we forgive you. I mean, it's weird because it's like Beyonce is Beyonce. You know, she said top two and I'm not number two. Even Beyonce has um, um, some feelings of insecurity from time to time after, you know, what happened. But the fact that the, the, it's like, how do I say this? I don't think she's telling him. I don't. I don't think she's telling him, like, um, I'm still angry over what happened. But it definitely lingers in, um, in small ways, makes a small impact on their connection. Okay? It's, it's, it's still there. But I don't know, like, what else they can do at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, what can you do? Honestly, Lemonade um, came out years ago. But y'all, once you betray the woman that you love, it's never, it will never, ever be the same again. It will never, ever be the same again. And that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing. So I hope y'all enjoyed this reading until next time.